Public health officials have been working at PACE this afternoon to gather information on the case and their movements, and I will pass to Dr Bloomfield shortly to set out the facts as we currently know them, including locations of interest that have been identified so far. But first, I want to assure New Zealand that we have planned for this eventuality and that we will now be putting in place that plan to contain and stamp out COVID-19 once again. Delta has been called a game changer, and it is. It means we need to again go hard and early to stop the spread. We have seen what can happen elsewhere if we fail to get on top of it. We only get one chance. That's why Cabinet has met this afternoon and made the decision that New Zealand will move to alert level four from 11.59 p.m. tonight. Level four will be for initial period of three days, except for Auckland and the Coromandel Peninsula, who we anticipate will likely be at level four for seven days, due to them being most closely linked to our current case. We have made decisions on the basis that it is better to start high and go down levels rather than start too low, not contain the virus and see it move quickly. We've seen the dire consequences of taking too long to act in other countries, not least our neighbours. Just as we successfully stayed home and saved lives last year, I'm asking the team of five million to unite once more to defeat what is likely to be this more dangerous and transmissible variant of the virus. I know that one of the worst things about COVID-19 is the absolute uncertainty that it creates, but we know more now than we did a year ago. We know that this strategy works. We know that we are a strong team of five million, and we know that life will get easier. We just need to keep going. Please take care and please be kind to one another. The case is a 58-year-old male from a household in Devonport on the North Shore of Auckland. He became symptomatic on Saturday the 14th of August, so the infectious period is considered to have started on Thursday the 12th of August. Importantly, and this has been fundamental to our advice to, to the government, at this point there is no obvious link between this case and the border. The person lives with uh, his wife, who was also tested yesterday, and yesterday returned a negative test. Both individuals have been self-isolating at home until this point. Uh, the man is not, uh, is not vaccinated, but was in the process of actively booking his vaccination, had had trouble with the website, but had been making efforts to do that. Uh, his wife is fully vaccinated. Uh, I do want to commend the case for being a frequent user of the New Zealand uh, COVID Tracer app, and this tool has helped very. Uh, this has helped very much in helping us speed up identifying locations of interest. We have identified, at last count, 23 locations of interest, 13 uh, in and around Coromandel Township, and 10 in Auckland. <coughs> I have five of those, which I'll just run through now. These and any subsequent ones that are confirmed will be added to the Ministry of Health's website.